Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, can I help you, sir? Hi, I'm looking for a planner. I've been using an old fashioned pen and paper planner, but I want to upgrade to an electronic model. I don't want anything too fancy, please. Sure, I think this might be what you're looking for. It's a simple planner with all the basic functions. It has been our most popular model for a long time. Yes, and it's surprisingly cheap. I'll take it, please. Number 41. What is the man purchasing? Number 42. Why does the woman think the man will like the item? Number 43. What is the man impressed by? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. Do you have anything to declare today? Well, I've brought some traditional herbal medicine with me, and I have two bottles of liquor that I bought at a duty free shop in Beijing. Would you like to see the receipts? No, that won't be necessary. But I'm afraid I'll have to take the medication from you. You can't bring that into the country unless you get clearance from the proper authorities. I'll let you go with a warning for now, but next time you'll be fined. Number 44. Where most likely does this conversation take place? Number 45. What did the woman buy in Beijing? Number 46. What will the man probably do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. This is reception. You are speaking with Andrea. How may I help you? Hello. I'm staying in room 803. I specifically asked for a non smoking suite, but it stinks of cigarette smoke in here. I think there's been a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Normally, I just transfer you to a non smoking room. Unfortunately, we don't have any other available rooms. I'm very sorry, sir. This is not good enough, and I hope you pass that message on to the hotel manager. I'll be checking out tomorrow morning and staying somewhere else. Number 47. What is the main purpose of the man's call? Number 48. Why does the woman apologize to the man? Number 49. What is the man planning to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. We need to update the software on all the office computers. When do you think will be the best time to do it? Well, I guess it might be a good idea to do it overnight. That way, we won't cause disruption to the employees' work schedules. But then we might not have enough time to do the job. The IT manager told me that it would probably take a couple of days to complete the process. Well, then let's do it over the weekend. If the technicians start on Friday afternoon, they should definitely be done by the time everyone gets back on Monday. Number 50. What are the speakers talking about? Number 51. Approximately how long will the process take? Number 
Why are they planning to do it over the weekend? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Judy. Aren't you leaving today for the finance convention in Seattle? Yes, I'm going after lunch, but I'm worried actually. My flight leaves at 2.30 and I'd like to get away early. However, because of an important client meeting at 12, I won't be able to leave till around 1. It takes at least 20 minutes to get to the airport from here. You'll need to hurry. Do you need a ride? If you don't mind, that would be really helpful. I was planning on taking the subway, but that would be much faster. Thanks. Number 53. Why is the woman going to the airport? Number 54. What time does her flight leave? Number 55. How will she get there? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Has everybody in your party arrived yet? Or are you still waiting for someone? Sorry, there are a couple of people still on the way. They should be here soon. Sure, I understand. Would you like any drinks while you're waiting? That's a good idea. Unfortunately, I've been busy reading the dinner menu, so I haven't had a chance to look at the wine list yet. I'll take a look at it now and get back to you in a couple of minutes. Number 56. Who is the man? Number 57. What is the woman waiting for? Number 58. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Mike. How was your weekend? Really busy. I moved into a new apartment on Gray Avenue, so I had a lot to do. Wow. I hope you like it better than your old apartment. Although the rent there was cheap, the interior was shabby. Yes, this place is much better. It's in a great area, too, just next to Gray Park Station. I'm still unpacking, so it's a mess inside at the moment. Hopefully, I'll finish tonight so you can come over tomorrow and have a look at it. Number 59. What is the main topic of this conversation? Number 60. What does the man like about his new place? Number 61. When will the woman probably drop by? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hi, it's Glenda Peterson here. I'm looking for Adam Perez. Hi, Glenda. Adam here. I guess you're calling about the order of electronics equipment you made on Monday morning? That's right. We're running low on stock in several of our appliance stores at the moment. In particular, we're short on MP3 players and digital cameras. We need that shipment urgently. Don't worry. It's on its way. The entire shipment left our stockroom on Tuesday evening, and it should arrive in your storage warehouse sometime this afternoon. Please contact me again on my cell phone or call me in my office if you haven't received the goods by 5 o'clock. Number 62. What is the main purpose of the woman's call? Number 63. When are the woman's goods supposed to arrive? Number 64. What should the woman do if the goods do not arrive on time? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. 
Clark, have you finished preparing for your talk at the investment summit? Well, I've finished a draft of the material, but I need to go over it again and make a few changes. I'm worried the presentation might come across as a bit dull. We want to catch the attention of potential investors, so focus on making it entertaining rather than detailed. You could try adding some interesting graphics or multimedia features to the presentation. Yes, I'm going to get Ken from the IT team to help me with that. I hear he's an expert at putting together great displays. Number 65. What are the speakers discussing? Number 66. Why is the man making changes to his work? Number 67. What will the man probably do later? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Shannon. I heard they're looking for a new manager for the public relations department. Do you know who's in line for the job? They've already offered the position to a woman called Shelly Sanders. Apparently, she's from a big firm in New York. Really? I expected them to promote someone from within the department. Sam Warner and Pete Michaels have both been loyal to the company for a long time. I thought one of them might get the job. I think the personnel department wanted to bring in some new ideas from outside the company. Number 68. Who has been offered the position? Number 69. Why is the man surprised? Number 70. What influenced personnel's final decision?